What's up, Androfinex? Texan from AndroidRoots.com with me have the CM10 4.1.2 Jolly Bean for the Galaxy Nexus GSM Ryzen and Sprint, and so I'm gonna be showing you how to install it on your phone. Now I'm just gonna head down to File Manager and show you that I actually have it already transferred and downloaded to my phone. So I, I'm already assuming that you have the CM10 ROM downloaded and installed on your phone, or not installed, just downloaded and on your phone, and also as G apps. As always, I have a link in the description below and where you can get these download links um, and all the good stuff for GFs and the CM10 ROM for your GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So as you can see right there, I already have it on my phone, the CM10 and GFs as well. Do not uh, do not uh, look at Super Years, it doesn't affect you, just CM10 and GFs as you can see right there. So we're going to be looking at, we're going to be using those two and installing it on our phone. And please do back up all your apps and settings, all that before you do install this ROM because this will do a factory reset on your device. So make sure you back up all your apps using Titanium Backup and all that before you get started. So I'm already assuming that you have Clock on My Recovery installed as well. So if you don't if you don't have Clock on My Recovery installed, you can look right there on uh, Windows and for Mac. I have installed Clock on My Recovery on your Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so now we're gonna be entering the Clock on My Recovery mode. So power off your phone. Okay, when it's powered off, you're gonna be holding the volume up, volume down, and power on all at the same time. When you feel vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and volume down. All three, let go, vibration. You'll be on this screen, press the volume up twice, and that will enter into clock mode recovery mode. Once in this, we're gonna be clearing, uh, we're gonna be doing a uh, factory reset, clearing the cache and data partition, and Dalvik cache as well. So let me zoom in so you can get a better look on that. So first thing we'll be doing is white data slash factory reset. Select that and select yes. So now as you can see, you'll see the process at the bottom of the screen. Give this a few seconds. Okay, that is complete. Now we're gonna go to wipe cache partition and select yes. That's gonna wipe. It'll be a few seconds. Okay, now we're gonna go into advanced. You can select the screen if you have if you do have the touch version, but if you don't, just use the volume up and down and power button to navigate. Select wipe down the cache and select yes. Alright, that is complete. Go back, install the different SD card, choose different SD card, and find that CM10 RAM. So as you can see, mine is right there, the CM10. So I'm gonna be selecting that one and select yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Choose if my SD card, CM10, and select yes. There we go. So this will take about five minutes to install. So please do be patient. Uh, I will be back once it's done installing, and after this, we're gonna install GApps. Okay, that is complete. Next, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to choose if my SD card once again and find that GApps one. So you can see my GApps is right there. We're gonna select that and install that one as well. So that's gonna install your Google Play Store, GTalk. Uh, Google Talk, um, Gmail, all the other Google applications that usually don't, don't come if you don't install this. So if you installed CM10 ROM and you don't have Google Play Store and all that, make sure you do install G apps. So this will take about another five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, that is complete. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna go back and select reboot system now. Now it's gonna reboot your phone on the 100% pure CM10 M2. 4.1.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, or Sprint. So this boot up, it will take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on just the speed of your phone, but it will boot up uh, on this animation, it will take about 10 minutes to boot up because you did do a factory reset. So it's going to stay on the screen for about 10 minutes, so please do be patient. I'll be back when this is done, um, it's finished booting up. So yeah. So as you can see, I'm just on the startup screen now. I'm just gonna be uh, skipping through all this. You can obviously just set up your phone once it has finished booting up. Mine did. My boot up did take about five minutes, so your phone should take about that as long as that as well. So I'm just gonna go to settings, about phone, and show you it's on Sajira Mod 10 4.1.2, the latest Jelly Bean version. So as you can see, it's on 4.1.2 Galaxy Nexus. You got the baseband, kernel, everything right there. Sajira Mod 10 right there as well. So you got Sajira Mod 10 2012 Experimental M2 right there. So you are all good to go. Um, hopefully this installation was successful. It should have been successful. Um, make sure your um, ROM does not ever get unzipped. If it does get unzipped while you download through your computer, just download directly onto your phone. So just uh, copy and paste the link onto your, directly onto your phone. 
and you should be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't for more uh, great uh, installation videos, RAM reviews, uh, tutorials for your Galaxy Nexus as well, and Galaxy S3, and more devices guaranteed to come soon as well. And please don't forget to hit that like button as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you don't know, uh, if you're not sure if you want to install this RAM or not, definitely check out that RAM review right there for the Galaxy Nexus GSM. Verizon and Sprint Sigenema 10M2 RAM review. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video.